Good morning, everyone. It's my pleasure being here with you all today. I am Salam Al Amimi, the Director General of the Social Contribution Authority, MAN. I'm delighted to see so many of you being here today, whether physically or virtually, and all displaying a general interest in sustainability. The future of UAE is bright. From recycling to shunning plastic bottles in favor of a glass, carrying university books in tote bags, and regularly engaging in community activities, you, the youth of UAE, are showing us that action can make a difference. MAN is responsible for social innovation in Abu Dhabi. What do we mean when we say that? Well, we support and nurture the creation of ecosystem that helps addressing key social priorities with the aim of creating a better society for tomorrow. With collaboration at its heart, we constantly look for ways to encourage our society to work together to create a better future. And this is something that I notice happening naturally with you all. All what you need is to know how. And the key to this is the environment, the surrounding we all inhabit. Our late founding father, Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Hayyan, once said that the environment is an integral part of our country, our history, and our heritage. Those inspiring words have helped shape Abu Dhabi environmental agenda. Abu Dhabi is a global role model for its strategy to transi transition to clean, sustainable energy with Masdar leading the charge. But the reality is that Abu Dhabi and UAE face the same environmental challenges large industrial cities, cities sorry, and countries around the world are dealing with today. For example, in Abu Dhabi alone, single-use plastic are the primary contributor to the fact that 13 million tons of plastic enters the oceans every year to the fact that we also generate 9.8 million tons of solid waste. These are significantly high numbers that I was shocked myself knowing about. We believe that the social enterprises we support can make a positive difference in our environment and make the city much better place to live in. Our approach to empower entrepreneurship in our communities to bring forward their ideas for social impact, we as a government will provide the expertise and resources to grow these solutions into a sustainable businesses or non-profit associations delivering impact on the long, on the long run. Through MAN Social Incubator, we are not only investing in building skills, but also accelerating a culture of social impact. For the people who does not know MAN, we work under the social umbrella, so we are focusing on stimulating the third sector, but um, uh, under the social uh, umbrella. So we have a socio-economic uh, portfolio, just for your information. That is why we collaborate with the Environment Agency in Abu Dhabi to make an environment at the theme of the fourth cohort of Man Social Incubator. Through MSIA, we provided a platform for tomorrow's up and coming innovators to transform their ideas into sustainable products and services that will benefit the entire community. This MSIA supported 10 shortlisted teams of bright entrepreneurs, some of whom were led by people as young as 22 years old to help develop ex extremely creative solutions to the environment challenges. To give an example, Bazara is peer-to-peer -peer social marketplace application for buying and selling clothes, accessories, and home goods, which has more than 12,000 register, registered users today. Another solution called Nadira, providing a technology-enabled waste management solutions to help increase material recovery rates and reduce wastes. This has been, this has been uh, a big hit so far, where 90 households in Bloom Garden Industrial I believe all of you knows Bloom Garden, are already on board using that uh, uh, system. MSIA have been key in growing Abu Dhabi third sector. Since we launched the program 2019, we have supported around 
45 social enterprises to have directly benefited more than 200,000 beneficiaries and of a revenue created more than 500,000 so far. I encourage you all to continue thinking of ways to help and create better future in Abu Dhabi. Ways to help make our community come more cohesive and collaborative. We are here to help you because together we can create a brighter future for Abu Dhabi. Thank you very much. Uh, Your Excellency, we were wondering if you're open to any questions. Yeah? If anyone has any question to Her Excellency, please raise your hands. Any questions? Hmm. That seems you gave a very wonderful pr presentation. No one has any questions. I, I, I can give them an idea about the initiatives, the things that So the MSIA is the first social incubation program in the region. Uh, we do have other type of uh, incubators programs in Abu Dhabi, but mostly focused on the private sector, the IT, uh, but none of them is basically focused on the social sector. So uh, we as an organization are in charge of bringing the most innovative, uh, I would say, solutions uh, around the world and introduce it to the social sector. As you know, the social sector for a long period of time was dealt with in a classical approach. So today, to engage our community to come up with those creative ideas that are attending for the social priorities uh, figured by Da'ira Tanmiyat al Mujtama, which is DCD, and then bring the community to put the solutions in a form that would make it sustainable. Yani not only volunteering, but also creating uh, business uh, bodies uh, that uh, are having the right business plans, the strategies in order to uh, you know, sustain the solutions uh, that has been provided through the community. So the MSIA provide you an office space, provide you a three months, um, I would say course, uh, literally courses, that will enable you to set up your, uh, your, uh, your uh, company. And also there is a financial support, up to 200,000 dirhams, and those 200,000 dirhams are paid according to your progress uh, in your social entrepreneur. This is open for everyone, but serve, serves Abu Dhabi uh, in specific. So it's open internationally, any nationality can apply, but the purpose of this is to stimulate the third sector, which is basically the non-profit organization or social enterprises that would provide services on top of the catalog of the services provided by the government. So here we are. Uh, supporting the third sector as much as, uh, for example, DED support the private sector, and we have the government. So if those three sectors are working all together in a comprehensive uh, way, then we are providing good services for the community and the vulnerable groups. I just wanted to highlight this. Uh, right now, uh, the, we're running uh, the fifth uh, cohort, focused, uh, uh, fourth cohort was environment, fifth cohort is focused on elderly specifically, um, and uh, every year we have two cohorts. There is a topic that is selected, which is a priority for the government, and we uh, receive the applications from the community, uh, locally and internationally. I just wanted to highlight this. Thank you.